After doing two three such projects, we started ad adding some flavor to it. We made the project a little more than affordable, so we call it affordable luxury. It's been a roller coaster ride since I joined the uh, business. Where people just want a home, you know, four walls to live in in Panveri. They would want all the amenities, but at an affordable price. So are you seeing migration happening from South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai? 100%. Welcome to Real Estate Ka Real Gyan with Prop Kiani Girish Shalwani. In this episode, we have Krada MCHI Youth Committee member, Mr. Chitesh Agarwal and Mr. Akash More. Welcome about, sir. Uh, the most toughest question to you. Okay. Uh, you are... Uh, leaving your position and you are coming in uh, the MCHI committee member one of the committee member has uh, joined secretary so what is a suggestion that you would like to give him that he can like you know look forward for another uh, probably one to two years in terms of his progress and being a part of uh, committee as probably one of the main uh, person who can like you know help the entire committee and also the new coming members of uh, youth as an association I mean, he can just look forward with your suggestions. So Akash, I would like to tell you that being in NMR, which is the most upcoming region and the youth of NMR, you are the torch bearers. So you all have to uh, be the face of NMR and take it to another level. Thank you, Thank you so much. Jitesh, I mean, you've been into Navi Mumbai for quite some time now and uh, ma majority of the time you've been doing affordable luxury. I mean, it's very difficult for me to understand affordable luxury, how luxury can be affordable. I mean, how do you make it happen? I mean, uh, if, if I talk about brands like Versace, Gucci, Armani, I mean, you talk about luxury. I mean, they are never affordable. So in real estate, how you make that happen? To answer your question, so earlier we started with uh, just affordable then we realize the need that even they have aspirations so uh, after doing two three such projects we started ad adding some flavor to it we added a swimming pool branded cp fittings you know a nice luxury clubhouse that's how we make the project a little more than affordable so we call it affordable luxury okay so i mean should not be that should be a probably a standard practice in affordable segment as well there are uh, two separate segments one is absolutely affordable like we did in Karjar okay where people just want a home you know four walls to live in with basic amenities they wouldn't want to do the expense of maintaining you know even a swimming pool whereas there are there are people who aspire like in Panveri they would want all the amenities, but at an affordable price. Okay. Uh, Mr. Akash, you've been in Navi Mumbai for quite some time. You've been a second generation real estate developer. Uh, how you are coping up in terms of government policies, GST, demonetization, then COVID, then RERA. So how you are able to cope up? I mean, looking up to your old veterans, it was quite easy in terms of business. In uh, Rera, you have to escrow account in Rera. There were all the projects in one account. Chal jate the. So how you are able to cope up and are you finding it easy now uh, in terms of transparency towards a home buyer and other vendors as well or it, it, is it making the life more difficult? To be honest, uh, to tell you, it's been a roller coaster ride since I joined the uh, business. Um, so in 2016-17 when I started, that's when uh, demonetization happened, where that was introduced, GST came in picture. So there was always a learning curve for me. And uh, yes, it has been an adaptive journey. I've been uh, looking into and understanding how things are working, how things, how the government policies are being framed and how it has been affecting or uh, maybe benefiting the whole of the real estate sector. Uh, it has also been a filter of, um, you know, creating transparency in the practices that developers used to do and how stringent things have become now and uh, because of that it has really helped the um, home buyers the other sectors to uh, you know understand what is the truth about a project because there were many many a times in in the past that people had to make um, different commitments and do different delivery I mean, confirm 
हुई है स्कैम कम हो गए ऑलमोस्ट ना के बराबर हो गए और पहले जो हम आ, सुनते थे कि एक ही फ्लैट पाँच जन को बेच दिया दस जन को बेच दिया अब मेरे को नहीं लगता है लास्ट ऐसा कोई आर्टिकल मैंने देखा था वेयर आई मीन स्पेशली आफ्टर रेरा हाँ पहले का कोई केस रहेगा तो बात अलग है बट स्पेशली आफ्टर रेरा कमिंग इनटू पिक्चर ऐसा कोई आर्टिकल मैंने तो नहीं देखा है दैट पर्सन और डेवलपर हैज सोल्ड मल्टीपल आई मीन पीपल सिंगल यूनिट टू दो मल्टीपल विच एज है पहले ऐसा बोलते थे बिल्डर मतलब चोर दैट इमेज टूडे ऑल्सो देर आर मैनी डेवलपर्स हु एक्चुअली बिहेव इन द सेम फैशन I mean the way the culture was probably a decade or See, that has always back. happened but then uh, there are so many new players and everybody the newer generation the entrepreneurial spirit that everybody's coming up with they don't want to get it any mess they want to do a little work but do it clean do it to the point and uh, this is how things should move in future as what we hope so every second uh, location that we look at or probably every s- Six months or one year, you would be able to face competition in terms of your existing competitor who would be developing project next to you, or probably sometime there would be a new developer, uh, like you know, coming with full strength in terms of money, power, uh, government policies, and probably uh, all the all the requirements that is required to uh, build up that particular location or that doing that project in much better way. So, do you f- face a uh, heat sometime in terms of sales? marketing cash flow if you ask me i feel that more the number of developers coming to a location the location gets highlighted even more because we are able to attract more number of buyers to that particular location see what they did to thane hmm bodwandar road has changed the face of thane correct more big developers came in and they uplifted that area similarly lot of areas in taroja and panvel are getting traction wherein developers are doing huge investments in terms of location uh, in nmr you see how neral karjat is upcoming and you know the uh, whole region gets an upliftment so when i talk about karjat i mean you have one of the project that karjat i mean do you find in terms of location wise karjat been always been highlighted as one of the weekend home or probably a bungalow or probably a plot uh, selling uh, projects do you think karjat will become one of the main hub in terms of residential as well like how washi has transformed over a year soon with the new panvel karjat line i am sure it's going to change the face of karjat okay so the demand in karjat would be much more higher vis-a-vis panvel and washi over a period of years so like you say uh, people you know that affordable is in uh, karjat people who can afford a little expensive homes would come to panvel who can even afford more expensive would come to washi so that's how the shift happens as and when the you know progress of people happens they keep coming closer to the city i feel there would be a uh, point uh, two years or three years down the line where washi panvel all these places will have almost a similar price point with a gap of around probably plus minus 5 7% here and there i mean the same situation we are able to face in western suburbs today andheri and borivli fetch the same price even uh, to an extent a few projects in thane fetch the price of uh, andheri so i mean how it will work for karjat panvel washi i mean especially the entire navi mumbai if all price point will come to almost a similar uh, level see there's a high possibility of that happening but uh, it is actually a sign of great development of good stable uh, you know income and employment for for the for the com- community and uh, we ourselves are seeing it today now the inventory that is available in some part of navi mumbai It is almost the same prices in the other part of Mumbai. Where, for example, if you say Khargar, Khargar is almost similar to what Kansoli is. So, if we all grow together, it will all depend on the demographics that people that are coming in, the commuting, the infrastructure that is going on to be developed uh, in and around those places. So, once this Nava Sheva ceiling that will be coming out, the new airport comes in picture, um, we will see some really good growth in those sectors, those those parts of Navi Mumbai as well. and at that time you'll see that those prices will be similar to the other parts of it so this also means that navi mumbai is playing a wider role for investment in real estate uh 
people those who are still thinking that real estate is unable to give a good returns navi mumbai is a place navi mumbai is a hub uh, is this because of upcoming international airport or probably navi mumbai still have lot more uh, in terms of development uh, highways airport could be one of the infrastructure development taking place so what is the main reason that navi mumbai still is an investment uh, hub visa vis probably western central or south mumbai if you see all the major infrastructure projects are centered around navi mumbai the major uh, bridges highways the or mhtl the port everything is in and around here the sidco nena which is like a mega city in itself we are all here you rightly said mthl i can probably take one of the example jiski wajah se panvel ka prices bad sakta hai ulve ka prices can see and spike but all this while people are talking about development of this side no one is talking about price hike towards south mumbai i mean it's the same mta is the same bridge which will connect from south mumbai to uh, jnpt to sab log jnpt ka development ka baat kar rahe but no one is talking about south mumbai being i mean the uske prices bad jayenge it will be easy to commute i mean why uske prices is already bahut bad hai and the reason is high okay so there will be a time when people will be liquidating from there and maybe thinking about moving in a bigger space at a lesser price point in this space of uh, mumbai but what about the community what about the gentry i mean living uh, i mean residential is all about living in a community living with that family probably uh, there are few families i have heard i mean they have spent generation in uh, one home i mean generation to generation they have passed on their uh, like your know, ancestors home as well and been staying quite happily and they don't want to move out well that is hardly 2% of the rural populations and then we're talking about with the mass is affected on this and when looking at the masses and the uh, price at which they're getting 100 square feet over there they might get around 300 square feet here so there's a difference of that and everybody thinks about commuting is a different thing but in the end you are again back home and have some space to So are you seeing migration happening from South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai? 100%. The urban Indian wants a community living. They need facilities on the weekend. He wants to enjoy his amenities. So that is available in South Mumbai as well. Though it comes with a huge price. There are very few projects which have the amenities inside the community. Okay. You would probably have to go to club to enjoy the same facilities. Whereas the new projects in Navi Mumbai would have all those facilities in house uh akash have you laid down certain vision for yourself as uh, like you know incoming joint secretary uh, for uh, crad mchi youth that this is what you would be doing in near future to make association much more strong and uh, inspire i mean you can be one of the inspiration where like you know more youth developers can come and associate with with this association To be honest, uh, I got to know about this before we started the session. But uh, yeah, we were already discussing these things and uh, the rules and responsibilities and all of that are to be they looked after. But apart from that, my um, uh, major motive would be to give maximum time that I'll be able to dedicate for this uh, new endeavor, as well as bring on board and inspire a few other developers in my uh, community that are still hesitant on. being a part of an association working around an association because of course everybody has their own reasons and their own uh business uh things but yeah it is something that i would know if like everybody else to be a part of and uh, bring a few more people so i would like to congratulate uh, akash for uh, his new and the brand new position in creda mchi youth and i would like to thank mr jitesh for his service uh, during his tenure he has done a fantastic uh, role and uh, like you know has inspired many youth to become part of this association uh, stay tuned and continue watching this episode and uh, don't forget to register if you are one of the developer and a youth second generation or a third generation don't forget to register and be part of creda mchi youth thank you so much